Ever wondered how a rainbow forms? It's a question as old as time, and today we're going to delve into the science behind these beautiful natural phenomena. Rainbows, those mesmerizing arcs of color that seem to magically appear after a rain shower, are not just a pretty spectacle. They are a showcase of nature's laws at work. From their formation to the secrets of their vibrant colors, there's more to a rainbow than meets the eye. Stay tuned to uncover the secret behind these colorful arcs in the sky. Rainbows are more than just beautiful spectacles. They're a stunning demonstration of nature's artistry, yes, but they're also a fascinating example of how the basic elements of nature interact. Let's start with sunlight. Sunlight may seem like a simple, uniform light to us, but it's actually composed of different colors. These colors are blended together in a seamless band, which we perceive as white light. But when sunlight interacts with raindrops, something magical happens. Raindrops, you see, are tiny spherical prisms. When sunlight enters a raindrop, it gets refracted or bent. This is because light travels at different speeds in different mediums. It's a bit like a car slowing down when it moves from a highway onto a gravel road. The bending causes the light to split into its constituent colors, creating a spectrum. But we're not done yet. After being refracted, the light reflects off the inner surface of the raindrop. This reflection sends the light back out of the raindrop, but not before it gets refracted once more. This second refraction bends the light again, spreading the colors further apart. Now, here's where you, the observer, come into play. The angle at which you view this refracted and reflected light determines which color you see. The light from each raindrop is deflected at a certain angle, and it's only when this angle matches your line of sight that you see a color. If you were to move, the angle changes, and so does the color you see. So, a rainbow is essentially a collection of countless raindrops, each diffracting and reflecting light at just the right angle for your eyes. Each raindrop is responsible for producing one color, and together they create the vivid spectrum we know as a rainbow. And there you have it. The birth of a rainbow isn't just about rain and sunlight. It's a complex dance of light, water and perspective, playing out in the vast theater of the sky. So, it all starts with a little light and a few raindrops. But how does light interacting with raindrops create color, you ask? Well, let's delve deeper into this colorful phenomenon. You see, when sunlight, which appears white to our eyes, enters a raindrop, it embarks on a fascinating journey. This journey involves three fundamental processes, refraction, reflection, and dispersion. Think of refraction as the bending of light. It happens when light transitions from one medium to another, in our case from air into water. This bending of light is the first step in the formation of a rainbow. Once inside the raindrop, the light then bounces off the inside surface of the drop in a process called reflection. If the angle is just right, the light will reflect off the raindrop's inner surface and head back out the way it came. But here's where it gets really interesting. As the light exits the raindrop, it refracts or bends once again. But this time, it also disperses or spreads out. This dispersion causes the white light to separate into its component colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Each color of light has a different wavelength, which means each bends at a slightly different angle as it exits the raindrop. Red light, with its longer wavelength, bends the least, while violet light, with its shorter wavelength, bends the most. And because of this difference in bending, each color emerges from the raindrop at a different angle. Now, imagine millions of these interactions happening simultaneously in a myriad of raindrops. Each raindrop scatters a full spectrum of colors, but because of your viewing angle, you only see one color from each drop. As a result, a beautiful colorful arc forms in the sky, with red on the outside and violet on the inside. Each color's band is the collection of light coming from a multitude of raindrops, each contributing their tiny piece to the grand spectacle, and voila, you have a rainbow. Ever noticed how the colors in a rainbow always appear in a specific order? Well, there's a fascinating scientific explanation behind this seemingly magical phenomenon. You see, the colors in a rainbow are not random, but rather, they are a beautiful demonstration of light in action. The colors of a rainbow always appear in the same order. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. You can remember them with the acronym Roy G. Biv. But why is that the case? 
Why does red always come before orange and blue before violet? The answer lies in the science of light. Light, as we know it, is made up of different colors, each with its unique wavelength. When sunlight hits a raindrop, it's refracted or bent and then reflected off the inside surface of the droplet. As it exits the droplet, it's refracted again. And this bending and reflecting process separates the light into its different colors. Now here's the important part. Each color of light has a different wavelength. Red light has the longest wavelength and gets refracted the least, while violet light has the shortest wavelength and refracts the most. This difference in refraction is why the colors spread out into a rainbow. But why does the red appear on the outside and violet on the inside? Well, it's because when light exits the raindrop, the red light is bent the least from its original direction, and the violet light is bent the most. This leads to red appearing on the top and violet on the bottom of the arc. So, essentially, the order of the colors in a rainbow is determined by the wavelengths of light. It's a beautiful, natural demonstration of physics in the world around us. So, the next time you see a rainbow, remember, it's all about the wavelengths. This simple yet profound scientific principle is what gives us the stunning spectacle of a rainbow, a phenomenon that continues to captivate us with its beauty and intrigue. Now that you know how rainbows form, here are some fun facts. Did you know that no two people see the same rainbow? Yes, that's right. When you're marveling at a rainbow's beauty, you're having a truly individual experience. This is because a rainbow is not an object and cannot be approached or physically touched. It's an optical illusion caused by any water droplets viewed from a certain angle relative to a light source. Therefore, everyone sees their own personal rainbow. Here's another fascinating fact. Double rainbows are not a myth. They are very real. A double rainbow occurs when light is reflected twice inside the water droplets. The second, fainter arc is seen outside the primary rainbow. And interestingly, the colors are reversed. The red is on the inside of the arc and the violet on the outside. Between the two rainbows, there's a dark area known as Alexander's Band, named after the ancient Greek philosopher who first described it. Now let's talk about a less known but equally spectacular phenomenon, the moonbow. Moonbows or lunar rainbows are rainbows that occur at night. They are relatively faint and often appear to be white or colorless as their colors are not easily discernible to the human eye. This is because the light from the moon is much less bright than that from the sun. However, the colors can be captured in long exposure photographs, revealing a stunning nighttime rainbow. And here's a bonus fact. There's no end to a rainbow. We've all heard tales of pots of gold at the end of a rainbow. But in reality, rainbows are full circles. We only see a semicircle or an arc due to the ground obstructing our view. Remember, every rainbow you see is unique just like you. So, we've journeyed through the science of rainbows, but what's the takeaway? Well, we've seen that rainbows are not just beautiful spectacles, but they are also fascinating natural phenomena that result from a combination of specific elements and processes. In order for a rainbow to form, we need both rain and sunlight. The magic happens when these two elements meet at just the right angle. The sunlight, composed of different colors, enters the raindrop and bends, a process known as refraction. It then bounces off the inner surface of the raindrop, which is the reflection part. As the light exits the raindrop, it separates into its individual colors in a process known as dispersion. This is what gives us that stunning arc of colors we see in the sky. And speaking of colors, we've learned that there's a set order to them in a rainbow. From the outer edge moving inwards, we always see red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Next time you spot a rainbow, see if you can remember the order, using the acronym ROIGBIV as a fun and handy reminder. So there you have it, a journey through the science and beauty of rainbows, breaking down the mystery into understandable parts. And the next time you see a rainbow, you'll know exactly what's happening to create that beautiful arc of colors in the sky.